Hey everybody, now I did a video two weeks ago talking about everything we want to see in Halo in the year 2023. And I thought I had finished that topic. Thousands and thousands of comments with each one of you guys outlining what you want to see from 343 this year. Then the last week happened and for some reason the amount of messages I got from you guys said you wanted a follow up video. So I was like, you know what, I'll put a tweet out, I'll see what people say. And he got 350,000 views and like 1,600 replies. And I asked the gaming community as a whole, if 3 or 3 Industries could do one thing this year to make Halo better, what would it be? Now there was a wide range of replies, from cool suggestions like a Sergeant Johnson spin-off game, to people saying there should be an Arbiter kissing game. There was really every single reply you could ever think of. After going through all of the replies, there were some really interesting ones, and I've handpicked them for today's video. The most liked comment was from Marty, and he says, depends on what we want. For the current experience, it's cross-core customization or a better career system. If it's to get the player base back up, the Battle Royale, BRs seem to be the only way to get more players in. Tatanka is 343's last shot to save Infinite's future, so everything else needs to be ready. And I agree that everything has to be perfect before 343 even thinks of releasing their Battle Royale. There are so many other things that need to be done to make the overall experience better before they release the Battle Royale. This may even coincide with the relaunch of the game when everything else is fixed, Battle Royale launches, and that's their plan to get more people on the game consistently. So many of you guys said social features, playing with your friends, add infection, Halo 3 anniversary. A lot of people wanted Halo 3 anniversary to be announced. Firefight PVE experiences came up so many times. A lot of people said the skill-based matchmaking was too strict and they just wanted a game mode where they can turn their brain off burst to AI and play around with their friends. And I agree, that is so desperately needed. Some other people said making good on the promises they made, e.g. cross-core and seasonality, which means sticking to the three-month seasons that they've been talking about for the last six months. Some people wanted multiple dev studios to work on Halo, so it's not just 343. And I can tell you right now, that's already happening. Certain Affinity is creating the Battle Royale, Sparasoft is doing the multiplayer, and 343 is doing a bit of everything. A comment I really resonated with was earnable armor from just playing the game. And 343 is starting to do that. They're doing much more regular events to unlock helmets and armor for free, which is really good to see because earnable armor will attract a lot more people than just buying stuff from the shop. I even got a comment from Hank Hudson on my previous video, and he's like, Mint, you forgot about the lobbies. Bring back the Halo 3 style lobbies where the people can vote on what game modes they play, or veto, and talk to each other in a lobby. And I was like, yes, someone mentioned it. Pre and post game lobbies with the opportunity to party up with friends or people you've just met after a game is a wonderful way to make friends and it should be encouraged. To me personally, that is what made Halo 3 special and popular. People made lifelong friends to this day because of social features and I cannot recommend them enough. The final thing that I thought was very interesting was an experimental playlist. A playlist where you can play with new weapons, new equipment, or vehicles. This can include just balancing changes, or new maps they want to test, stuff that isn't fully functioning yet, that they can get community feedback on, but also give people a new thing to play. And I thought this was a great idea. I was going to say a new UI as well, but I've spoken about that so much in the past video, so I'll leave it at that. 343 just published, their first blog of the year, so I'm expecting we're going to hear a lot more in terms of upcoming features, e.g. progression, in the next couple weeks. With all of that said, I'm going to ask you guys the question. If 343 Industries could do one thing this year to make Halo better, what would it be? I look forward to reading your comments, but thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Awesome custom game out tomorrow, I'm not going to spoil it, and I'll see you guys later.